Sexy Beasts first came to Netflix during the midst of the pandemic and instantly became a fan favorite due to its unique concept and crazy costumes. Of course, after its first season, fans couldn't wait for more. Well, finally, the wait is over. Season 2 is officially out. So who and what were the contestants? Who is still together? And is there going to be a season 3? Keep watching to find out. Sexy Beasts returned to Netflix for its second season on October 7th with six episodes, each being about 30 minutes long. While the seasons may be shorter, which means fewer episodes for audiences to devour, it hopefully means production can be sped up and there won't be too much of a gap in between new seasons. The first season of Sexy Beast was narrated by actor and comedian Rob Delaney, and he made his return yet again for season two as well, which is great news because he's pretty hilarious. As for the contestants, the show came up with completely new costumes for the daters of season two. But given the wide variety they used the first time around, they basically had to get extra creative to come up with entirely new ideas that haven't already been used, as Sexy Beast Season 2 wouldn't be quite as exciting if the masks were familiar, since the shock value is a big part of the fun. Some of the new beasts of this season include a bucktooth cat, a dragon, a mummy, a goblin with a mohawk, an armadillo, a shark, a hairy pig creature, and what looks to be a zombie-like figure with its brain on display. So with the new beasts, what's the format of Sexy Beast Season 2? Well, unsurprisingly, it's exactly the same as the first, as there isn't much of any reason to change a winning formula. In each episode, a new single chooses from three potential love matches, all disguised in costumes. The contestants will then go on a series of very blind dates in full costume and get to know the other person based on personality and character alone. Only after a contestant meets someone with whom they truly click will they both reveal their true identity. It's a hilarious and sometimes surprisingly heartwarming format that really works and will be interesting to see play out in upcoming seasons. Before we take a look at the spoilers of Season 2, what happened with its first season couples? How did its second season couples differ from its first? And when can we expect a Season 3? Keep watching to find out! Although Sexy Beasts is supposed to be about dating based solely off of personality, that didn't stop James the Beaver from checking out the other parts of his dates without makeup. Although as distracted as he was by the ladies' bodies, he claimed to have found a spark with a singer and law student Alexis. However, that spark didn't seem to follow them off-screen. Although the two follow each other on Instagram, it's been made pretty clear through Alexis's Instagram feed that she's dating someone else. In a recent post, Alexis described her time on the show as a fun and unique experience. On the on the other hand, James has yet to make even one mention of sexy beasts on Instagram. Perhaps he's a bit salty that things didn't work out with the leopard. This cast member's demonic appearance shocked viewers at first, but when they saw Emma without the makeup, they were wowed by how gorgeous she is. Though it's no surprise given she's a legit model. After several dates on the show, the New York Glamazon eventually selected Bennett the Mandrill to be her sexy beast, but it appears that's about as far things got, as the pair don't even follow each other on Instagram. In addition to that, Bennett has hinted at bad blood between the two of them, making the comment, there is so much that you don't know about what happened after the cameras cut off. As a result, I'd say it's safe to say that Emma and Bennett are not together, and it seems they never were. On the other hand, unlike Bennett and Emma, Carousel and Tyler the alien appear to have real chemistry. They may also be one of the few sexy beast couples to attempt an off-screen relationship. In a lengthy Instagram post, Carousel explained that after the show, the two truly tried their best and gave it their all, but revealed that they're sadly no longer together romantically, then ending the caption by saying that if she had to do it all over again, she'd pick him every time, adding that she will always be his biggest fan. How romantic. Another rather sad ending from the show was from chronically single Ibrahim veterinary student Gabby the Owl. Although there was definitely chemistry between the two on their dates, and both seemed to be attracted to each other after the makeup came off, it seems their romance never truly blossomed. On Instagram, Gabby said her experience was a hoot, but based on photos she posted of herself with another guy, it appears sad for Ibrahim that she has moved on. Lastly, both sexy beast couples Nina the Dolphin and Mick the Rhino and Kelchi and Martha seem to end things on good terms and could possibly still be talking to one another, as each couple still follows one another on Instagram and have even shared some pictures of the other on their social media. Overall, it doesn't appear that Sexy Beasts is particularly good at setting up quality matches as most of the season 1 couples have already crashed and burned. Still, there were some who gave it the old college try and even one couple who could still be together 
together, so it wasn't a total loss. Though with that said, it doesn't appear that season 2 of Sexy Beasts ended any better than the first. So now that season 1 is done and over with, what happened with the couples? And where are they now? Let's take a look at the current status of the couples that emerged from under the fur and teeth of Sexy Beasts season 2. First off is Mick the Dragon, who takes on the fun career of a musician. This dragon had the choice between an armadillo, hammerhead shark, and meerkat, a real toughie. In the end, he went with the one he always believed was the one, the magnificent meerkat Angelina Catherine, an actress and skincare entrepreneur based in New York. While Mick's Instagram doesn't have much of anything relating to the show, Angela Catherine's does have a bit as she also seems to be more active on the social media platform. And although there's no sign of Mick on her feed or her on his, they do follow each other. The next contestant was Ibukun, who disguised as the mummy. The Atlanta-based project manager and actor had a wide variety of choices between a fly, a goat, and a sprite. Not to be confused with a drinking beverage sprite. With a very fair playing field as far as prosthetics go, Ibukun ended up choosing Jada the Sprite. However, while it seemed like a good ending, there's been no sign of either one on their social media since. Finally, a pair with some hope. In episode 3, we met Devin the Tiger, a Facebook recruiter. Devin had the choice between Nigel the Warthog, Sam the Ogre, and Patrick the Fish. By the end, Devin chose her sexy beast Sam, who she believed she clicked with the most personality-wise. What's even better is that both are UK-based, with Devin in London and Sam just graduated from the University of Nottingham. Unlike most couples from the show, the two have been commenting on each other's Instagrams, so there's reason to believe they're still in touch today. Next, we meet Sully the Bat, a New York City chef. Out of his choices ranging from Frankenstein, a tree, and a chipmunk, he chose Cambridgeshire dental hygienist Jess the Frankenstein, a match made in Halloween heaven. So did the extreme long distance get the best of them? Sadly, that seems to be the case, as there's been no action or indication of communication on their Instagrams. Paige the Gorgon, a content creator and founder of a wellness-based community. After being presented with a parrot, hedgehog, and sasquatch, Paige chose her sexy beast, personal trainer Cornell. And although both of them are UK-based, it's not looking like love for this pair. There's been no social media action between them, as far as we can tell, and they don't follow one another on Instagram. Last but not least is Robbie the Rabbit, who was presented with a goblin, cougar, and snake. The rabbit ended up choosing Chess the Snake at the end of the season 2's finale episode. As DJ Robbie resides in New Jersey, and Chess, a customer service specialist and singer-songwriter, is a native New Yorker, but currently lives in Los Angeles, it doesn't look like the two are together today, with no evidence of each other on their Instagrams. However, while there didn't seem to be much off-screen success from the couples of season 2 of Sexy Beasts, perhaps we could see some in upcoming seasons. Which, speaking of, there hasn't yet been any news on whether there will be a third season. But regardless, fans will be eagerly awaiting. With that said, that's going to wrap up this video. What was your favorite part of Sexy Beasts season 2? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching.